Hello, my dear friends from Iran. Um, this is a questions and answers session with Sanaz Darvarsani, and let's get straight to it. Okay, let's see what questions we have. Hello, Dr. Lorena. Thank Hello. you for being with us. Today, we're going to talk more about the hypertrophic scars. What is it actually, and what causes it? Hypertrophic scars have two elements. So one is a genetic element, um, which so they're very common in anyone sort of from with my skin tone, Mediterranean and darker. Um, so you will find it quite prevalent in the Mediterranean, South America, um, in the Middle East in general. Um, and there is that genetic aspect to it. And also it's, it's triggered. So they will happen when there's a lot of um, damage done to the dermis, whether it's through an operation or in the case that you're wondering is why it happens on um, on permanent makeup removal on the non-laser sessions. Right, so let's see what your next question is. Do hypertrophic scars go away by themselves? They can do. We don't know. Um, it really depends on, it's usually the age of the person, the, how well they heal. Sometimes a scar is bumpy and just by applying silicone scar gel sheets, you can get a, you can get it to flatten. But that doesn't mean that there, that is going to go away as in there's going to be pre-tattoo, pre-removal concision skin. I'm, I'm just saying that the bumpiness is going to go down. What is the best treatment for hypertrophic scars? Okay, there's a few treatments. There's one, leave it alone and see if it goes down on its own. I don't really recommend that because generally it doesn't. Silicone scar gel sheets, as soon as you see that there's a problem with um, with scarring anywhere, you know, even if it's, it's not the brow, it, if you're doing any work and you're like, mm, that could be potentially a scar, silicone scar gel sheet. Um, and also I tend to inject with cortisone and that flattens the scars beautifully. Oh, uh, and massage is really needed after I inject with cortisone. Some tattoo removal artists Usually they complain about hypertrophic scars occurring after they have removed someone else's eyebrows. So why does this happen? I'm going to go out on a limb here. I am willing to bet this is happening due to a product that used to be in Europe that our, the government didn't ban it, but our insurance company banned it. So we can no longer get insurance for it. Uh, and I think it starts with an R. I'm going, I'm, I'm going out on a limb here. Um, but I remember that removal product used to cause hypertrophic scars and it did on my patients a couple of times and I immediately stopped using it. And I'm very light handed and I have very few complications over the past 20 years. I'm willing to bet that that's what it is. And that product is an acid and it's a very aggressive acid. Um, so it's almost like when the removal artist goes in and breaks the skin, it, the product goes in and just does some major amounts of um, harm with the tissue which often causes this kind of scarring that looks very familiar. Now, remember, I'm going out on a limb. I don't actually know if this is what they're using. Um, either that or they're just being incredibly aggressive and need to be retrained. Do hypertrophic scars keep growing? Um, they can continue to grow, but within sort of the confines of the actual incision or area. It's very unlikely if they're growing and growing and growing and growing and growing over the, the area of the incision, then we're looking at a keloid scar. And that's a completely different scar. Um, similar treatments, but a keloid scar is far more difficult to contain. How long does it take for a hypertrophic scar to flatten? It depends on the treatment and on the person. Uh, it can take three to six months if they're being injected regularly or if they're using the silicone uh, scar gel sheet. It also can depend on the person's age. Believe it or not, the older they are, the less likely somebody is to have a hypertrophic scar. 
Does cocktail treatment works? I'm not sure what you mean by cocktail treatment. Um, so, but I think that what you mean is a form of micro needling, where then um, you're applying post micro needling a hyaluronic acid type um, liquid or cocktail with vitamins, etc. They do work actually. They it's not as good as cortisone injections, which your doctor can do for you, but they do work. Micro needling does work. I mean, without the person going through a laser treatment, can they, can we just uh, do a cocktail therapy on their eyebrows? If so, can you name us a couple of cocktails that really work on the eyebrows, especially? Okay, I think what you're meaning by cocktail size, I think you mean by um, the type of liquid or what I called bonding agent. That's my own name. Uh, that you use in order to do non-laser removal. This is as old as time. Um, I have always used 10% glycolic acid, but there's others in the market that are equally good. Um, I don't think there's one that is more, um, that works better. What I would say is if somebody's trying to sell you an expensive machine and, and an expensive a cocktail bond run away immediately because I I have never seen one non-laser sort of cocktail as you call it be better than the other non-laser they just kind of all do the same thing and in the eyebrow tattoo removal world you need both now more than ever you need both I have gotten away with using primarily laser for a up until four years ago and now i need to do non-laser treatments as well what age group is most commonly affected by the hypertrophic scars do hypertrophic scars continue to grow how so um the age group that is most affected tends to be the younger so like 35 and under now the um will it continue to grow after six months it's unlikely my video has frozen so we'll see if it comes back online in a second let's continue can old hypertrophic scars be treated for good Oh, for good, my goodness, that's a big word. It re again, it's it's on a person by person situation. Uh, some people may do very well, and others not at all. So no, we, we and um, as a practitioner, we can never promise anyone results at all. And we've seen cases where uh, at the same time they have lost their eyebrows hair. Uh, so after the hypertrophic scars is treated uh, will the hair grow it really depends on whether the hair follicle has been killed or if it's gone dormant uh, dormant hair follicles can um can come back to life with um oil therapy a rosemary oil for instance is very good with um hair in general regrowth is what i use on my own hair um to keep it kind of long and luscious and um even because because of my age it's quite rare so rosemary oil you you can apply that to both your lashes and your brows to get um to get growth but yeah it's there's no guarantee that they're going to come back so what is the best laser in the market for hypertrophic scars does micro needling help with the hypertrophic scars so the laser for hypertrophic scar is not the same laser for tattoo removal the the laser that's used for scars is called fractional laser and if, if my honest opinion is that a treatment with fra fractional laser is exactly the same as a treatment of microneedling so, um which is why i've never gone into the open market and bought a fractional laser for my clinic because my microneedling techniques honestly are better than any laser so yes by all means do use microneedling 
Do hypertrophic scars change color over time? They can do. They can um, go from red to hyperpigmented, so to dark, or, or more often from, they go from red to white. So yes. And some people ask, why is it that my scar is still red after three months? Does it go away? My goodness, it could be still be right after three years. Uh, it might go away, it might not. We have no way of knowing. Dr. Lorena, thank you so much for the wonderful tips, the information you provided. Have a great day. Uh, hope to have you, hope to have another interview with you regarding other topics. I will, trans, I will, I will translate these videos and will share with my fellas in Iran. Ciao. Fabulous. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry that the video has gone frozen, but yes, by all means, let's do this again. Bye, everyone.